In this lab, you're going to ask the question, how will drop height affect bounce height for each of several different kinds of balls? Now, before you predict how balls will behave, make some general observations. Drop a few objects and think about characterizing the relationship between how they drop and how they bounce. How would you describe it and how would you characterize it graphically? Next, you're going to make a hypothesis. Study the sample graphs on page 3 of the lab manual, consider your observations from everyday life, and predict how each ball will behave in the experiment. Your predictions make up that hypothesis. For this lab, you'll need the following materials. A meter stick, masking tape, a golf ball, a plastic ball, a rubber ball, and a ball of clay about the same size as the golf ball. Now here's the procedure. In this experiment, you will use a meter stick and four different balls to see how bounce height is related to drop height. First, you're going to create a data table with the following columns. Type of ball, drop height in centimeters, and bounce height in centimeters. Remember to always use metric measurements in a scientific experiment. In the next step, you'll tape your meter stick vertically to a wall. You'll need your hands free to do the experiment. Position the meter stick so that it is vertical with the zero centimeter end touching the floor. Now drop the golf ball from 20 centimeters and note the height that the ball bounces. Verify the height that the ball bounces by dropping the ball a second time. Record the bounce height and the drop height in the data table. So in the data table, the drop height was 20 centimeters and then for the bounce height, enter your result in the data table. Next, test the bounce heights for the following drop heights in centimeters. 40 centimeters, 60, 80, and 100. Record the bounce heights and the drop heights in the data table. Repeat steps 3 through 5 with the plastic ball and the rubber ball. Now use the ball of clay that is about the same size as the golf ball and repeat steps 3, 4, and 5 with a clay ball. And now for the analysis. Graph your results for each of the four balls. Compare your graphs with your hypothesis. Use your graphs to characterize the way that the balls bounced.